Hello! Today I'm reviewing some alcoholic markers. Their name is Wellock B? Wellock B? Uh, they have a nice little pouch you can zip up and store them in. They have a fine nib and chisel nib. I received the 60 pack. They also have an 80 pack of colors too. The 60 pack bundle is usually $17.99 and then the 80 piece bundle is like $21.99. I tested out how they blend. Uh, they don't blend too much just like scrubbing like this, but I figured out, you know, if you uh, touch tips and stuff, you can blend it pretty good that way. Uh, I kind of had fun with it, so I did a second color. You can see me scribbling it out I like green, so it looked cool. Here I'm swatching all the colors. Uh, they have names for the colors and numbers on each side of the caps. They gave me a nice variety of colors, but I did notice sadly uh, one of my greens, uh, like the little nibs on it, is missing. So I thought that was kind of a bummer, but all of the other ones seemed fine. Um, as well as the caps were kind of hard to pull off, you can kind of see me struggling in the swatching. Uh, and a couple of them had like some weird grease on it that I had to like wipe off. I also received two black markers. I was kind of confused, but I mean, I'm sure I'll use them. So here I decided to sketch out uh, one of my characters named Clover. Uh, she's an old D&D character I played uh, a while ago. She is part bird. Uh, she's an owl. Her backstory, uh, I'm still trying to figure out, but I feel like it's a little too cringy to explain right now, other than, like, she's a storyteller and she's an adventurer. Uh, <laughs> her D&D story was screwed up very much, so I kind of took that idea of her and just kind of kept it, made it more sweet, wholesome. Overall, I really liked how the colors turned out. Uh, I felt it was kind of missing something, so I ended up just grabbing a, a pen that I have and started lining it and adding a little detail here and there to make it kind of pop. As well as, you know, give her some eyelashes and eyebrows, which I completely forgot to give her. Overall, I'd rate this like a 8 out of 10 for more affordable markers. They were pretty good. Um, if you do want to try these out yourselves, uh, the link will be in the description on the video. And yeah, have yourselves a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching.